what's going on youtube welcome back to another video now before we jump into today's video man you should have know what you should have been did like comment and subscribe we're trying to save the world we're trying to save as many people as we can so make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post not clarity my guys now listen man today we got the lion of judah this is a very godly channel I, re I recommend you guys check this channel out you know the guys in the discord they've been sending me a lot of these videos so you know I, I stumbled upon this video and i found it very interesting because i know a lot of us still struggle with you know cursing especially when you're on the your walk with god you know so i feel like this video is very much needed and it might help not only me but y'all as well so we just gonna jump right into it you will never see a bad word again after watching this so let's see how validating this video is your words are powerful there are christians who argue that your words don't matter i believe they are well-meaning christians who are trying to avoid false doctrine such as the new age movement or the law of attraction or they name it and claim it gospel but as we avoid these false doctrines we must ensure that we do not step into other false doctrines that attempt to paint the picture that your words don't matter the truth is your words matter god pays particularly close attention to what you say allow the bible record to speak concerning your words <laughs> She, she wanna laugh so bad, bro. <laughs> Proverbs 15 verse 4, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Proverbs 18 verse 4, The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. Proverbs 18 verse 21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Psalm 19 verse 14 Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Matthew 12 verse 36 and 37 But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned time and time again we are reminded about the importance of words what you say matters there is a record of every word you have ever said your words matter don't allow anyone to tell you otherwise. Now one of the reasons your words matter is because your words reveal the condition of your heart. That's true. I forgot the Bible verse, but it says... you. I forgot what it says, man. He's probably going to say it. But whatever comes out of your mouth, that's basically what you had in your heart the whole time. I think that's what's the Bible verse is based on. So I think he's going to say it, but that that's very true. Matthew 12 verse 35. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. Yeah. That and was an definitely. evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. The words we speak show what is in our hearts. If our hearts are full of evil, then the words we speak and write will be evil too. The words you speak are a good reflection of what is going on inside you. If you spend all day complaining and murmuring, then it shows what is inside you. But if you spend all day exalting the Lord God Almighty in all that you do, it shows what is in you. Apart from what people have been saying to you, what have you been saying to yourself? Hey, this video is deep. 
what do Very I want? Very true. I want to know myself. And... What are the words you have been saying to your soul every day? When you wake up in the morning, what do you say to yourself? The Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue. You can't just go about speaking words uncontrollably. You were not created to speak evil. You are a child of God and you must behave like one. In case you don't... That's why even in the most difficult of moments when we might be facing like tribulations it's always good to keep a very optimistic positive mindset because one slight word that you say can always kind of like dictate the your outcome in certain situations you know that and that's something that the new age this is why i tell you how the new age you get certain things from the bible because the new age is always gonna tell you to speak positive affirmations and it's clear as day where they got that doctrine from because they know the power of the tongue they know this so i'm telling you everything the new age most of what they they got they they took it from the bible and they just twisted it and made it into their own way and this is why so many of y'all is it, so caught up in the new age but i'm gonna let the video play don't know all the words you speak all the little things in your day that you don't think matter one day you will have to give an account of every one of those words Matthew 12 verse 36 but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment how often do you think about this reality that one day I am going to have to give account of my words? How often do you think about this before you say something? How often do you think that? Before you speak, please always ask yourself, would I like God to hold me accountable to what I am saying? In this life, many people have used their mouth to destroy their own families. I know of a woman who used to always say to her son, and I quote, you are just like your father, good for nothing. Mm. Imagine that, the pain she experienced from her ex-husband, she was now taking it out on her child. But one day she will have to give account of the words she has spoken. God has given- This is why it's not good to wish death upon people it's not good to to wish misfortune upon people you know like like he just said a mom would say you're just like your father you know a lot of the things we say is unknowingly you know sometimes when you get mad you say things you don't really mean but one day we will have to face these judgments so starting today we got to start watching what we saying man <laughs> like this is very real real stuff <laughs> giving you the power to bless you must always use your mouth to speak good things to your family your child comes home with a bad result from school and you call them a failure if you call them useless are you helping them what you are doing is that you are sowing a negative word into their lives and it will germinate to bring negativity into their lives your wife loses her job due to no fault of her own and you lose your temper. Are you helping her with your words? Are you being the man that God would judge favorably? Always ask yourself, how would Jesus be in this situation? Speak. You know, what would Jesus do? That's what you got to ask yourself in, in any little situation. What would Jesus do? Blessings to your children. Don't beat them up with your words. Your spouse does not deserve those negative words. Speak blessings to your spouse. We need to examine the things that make people speak negative things about others or what can make you speak negative things to your family or your children or those around you. The first, anger. The number one reason 
is anger. People curse other people because they are angry. Christians also get angry because it is part of the scope of human emotion. You as a Christian can get angry but you must not sin in your anger. When your spouse or your children make you angry, don't say bad things to them. Don't curse them. Nothing said out of anger ever makes the situation better. If you are angry, don't say anything. Even if the That's right, man. Never fight fire with fire. Because when you do that, you're only making the situation worse. People think that going into arguments and just going back and forth, arguing with the next person when they're yelling on top of their lungs is going to cause any solution. It's really not. It's just making the situation worse. So it's always never good to fight fire with fire. Person pushes you. Don't say anything. If you speak out of anger, you will live to regret what you say. If you shop on Amazon, you should use this tool. It's a browser extension that Ephesians 4 verse 26 Be ye angry, and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Hatred and bitterness is another cause for negative words. These two, first of all, are things we must not find in the life of any Christian. They are also things that can make one speak negatively. If there is love in your heart, you will have no reason to curse anyone or speak bad things of anyone. God is love and if you are calling yourself a child of God, then you must have this love in your heart. Let love reign in your heart, destroy hatred and bitterness in your life. As a Christian, what are you saying? What words are coming out of your mouth? Do people know you as the one who speaks edifying words or the one who speaks evil words? What are you saying to yourself every morning when you wake up? What are you saying to your wife and your children every day? What are you saying to your husband and your children every day? Your words are powerful. God has put life and death in the power of the tongue. You have both now. You have to choose how to use it. I want to tell you today that you must use your tongue to speak life. Don't spend your time speaking death into situations. By constantly criticizing the people around you or your family, by slandering people or gossiping about people, but use your tongue to speak life. And you also got to wonder, like, people who do things like that, you know, you... You bear the fruit that you, you, sow, you know, you, what is the saying? Um, you reap what you sow, right? So people who slander, speak bad about people and stuff like that, you reap what you sow. So it's no coincidence that those same people are always in misery and mischief. It's no coincidence. Like in the tongue is really life and death for real. But you got to choose which path you take. You, are you going to choose life or death? You know, so that's something I just wanted to say. Ephesians 4 verse 29, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. What the Bible is telling us is that our mouth must speak edifying things. We cannot speak corrupt things because they will not only corrupt us, but they will corrupt our future. Another thing we need to understand is that some of these words go into the future and create a roadblock for us. It will become a barricade that will stop you from moving forward. Most of the time, the problems we face in life are not caused by anyone but ourselves through mm. the words that we have spoken. If you make a mistake, why then do you have to start saying, I am so stupid, why did I do that for? I always mess things up. The amount of people that do this is shocking. 
People tend to be so hard on themselves. And one thing the devil does is that the devil makes you feel as if you are the first ever person to make that mistake. That it is only you. You are the biggest idiot in the history of all idiots to make this mistake or bad decision. The truth be told, everyone has made mistakes and everyone will make bad decisions. You are not stupid. Don't say that to yourself or to others. Colossians 4 verse 6 Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. The word that we should speak all the time and never get tired of speaking is the word of God. Let us speak the blessings of God unto our lives all the time. Speak them in the morning. Speak the word to your family. Speak it to every area of your life. Never stop speaking the word of God. Speak it to people. Teach your children the word of God. Let it be their guide. Let your heart be filled with the word. When your heart is filled with the word, your words will be edifying. Mm, Luke 6 deep. verse 45 A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Let your heart be filled with good things. So that was the end of the video. But before I end this video, I wanted to just go over some things with y'all real quick before I, I, I log off. This video actually just, um, I, I just came up with a video topic in my head. But, you know, instead of saying words like perhaps, maybe, I wish, I hope, I can't, I want. You got to replace those words with I am, I do, I can. You know what I'm saying? replace those 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 limiting words that you might tell yourself all the times with more uplifting words you know like i am strong i can do this you know don't don't be don't be beating yourself up telling yourself that you you're you're this you're that you know because that is what's essentially going to those are the traits you're essentially going to embody in the near future and i also wanted to go over uh a verse from where is it from uh, dang what's the verse oh yeah so it's from Psalms 139 chapter no so it's from Psalms chapter 139 verses 23 to 24 so it says search me O God and know my heart try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting so that verse right there is basically saying, Sir, like, you want God to search your heart, right? You can use this verse to pray. It's Psalms 139 verses 23 to 24. So you want God to search your heart. You know, see any, if you're embodying any wicked ways, any wicked things that may be in your heart, your mind. You know, you want God to search you because you don't want to be living in, in, in places of such like, negative ways of like thinking because what you what you embody inside is essentially what's going to come out of your tongue you know basically is what this video was about so always ask god to search you you know search see the faults in your ways ask god to to show you the faults in your ways you know so you can better those things in your life so you can start bringing out more purity through your tongue so i just wanted to go over that verse with y'all man you know, if you guys take anything valuable or learn anything new from this video, make sure to drop a like, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, share this video with a friend because they will need it. Watch this end screen that's going to pop up right here. Look, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll catch you in the next one and I'm out.